touch him. That's the boy. That's him. Look at that. It's good. This is the first episode. This is the first time, this is my first time making this or making anything on a camera for that matter. Bear with me. Hey boys, welcome to Spooning with Ox. We're making no meat burgers today with Jameson. Cause Jameson's the best and that's the only whiskey we drink around these parts. The good stuff, partner. But uh, what, 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 what am I doing? What am I talking about? <laughs> we're not doing a cocktail. We're not doing a Jameson ginger. We're gonna do a Jameson whiskey glaze for this burger. This is gonna make the burger perfect. And what ingredient do we need for that, you ask? The best whiskey in the world. The only whiskey you'll need ever for anything. But before anything, we're gonna wash our hands. So here's what we're gonna need. Normal burger, you'd use ground beef, but we don't eat beef around these parts. So we're using uh, a meat substitute. Sharp cheddar cheese, it's supposed to be shredded, but we're gonna cut, I'll probably cut it up or something and we'll make it shredded for the cheese sauce. And uh, some, some potato buns, onions and garlic. Quarter cup of ketchup, quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of honey, and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I don't know why there's so much mustard in here. Whoever prepped this stuff put too much mustard in here. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. The fanciest pepper you can find. And of course, Jameson. The best whiskey. Do you need Jameson or it's not gonna taste good? It's gonna be disgusting. First, we'll start with the, uh, with the glaze. So for the glaze sauce, we're gonna use Jameson. A quarter cup of ketchup. I'm using chopsticks because I'm culture. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. And we're short of soy sauce. So we got uh, more soy sauce from the soy sauce gods. Two tablespoons of honey, and we're short honey now. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of mustard. This is spicy mustard, so we'll see. I didn't say to use spicy mustard, but when you're home, you've been home for 30 days and having grocery shop, you gotta make it work. And then one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. One, one teaspoon of Worcestershire. And then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and um, we're just gonna kind of guess ground black pepper. And we're just gonna assume that's a, that's a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon right there. Yum! Dude. So after you got all your ingredients in the bowl, you can mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna throw it into a pan and bring it up to a little simmer. Get this thing glazy, saucy type situation. All right, all right. So now we got our stove at a medium high. We're gonna bring up, bring this up to like a little simmer. Bring it up and then bring it down. We're gonna uh, let it sit on a on a low heat now. So we're ready to put this thing on the burger. Now that we have the glaze done, we're gonna start getting the cheese sauce going. So uh, that's ready for when we start assembling our burgers, our Jameson burgers. So to start with the cheese sauce, we're gonna, uh, since I don't have shredded sharp cheddar cheese, I'm gonna have the sliced cheese, because we're killing it today with the prepping. Eight ounces is what you're supposed to have, and good thing a pack of cheese is eight ounces. 
So, uh, I've never shredded my own cheese before, but let's see. Uh, this reminds me of like one triple kind of sliced cheese a little bit. I haven't sliced down to like this. This. Like and subscribe. So should I free the cheese? So I'm gonna put this cheese into a bowl. All right, so now for the cheese sauce, we're gonna need to do half a stick of uh, half a stick of butter. So butter in there, and we're gonna like melt this down. So then once your butter's melted down, should look a little bit like this. Throw your flour in. Turn that down a little bit. Get this all mixed up. And we just want to get this like nice golden brown, like the sunset. All right, so now we're gonna add in our stout beer, whole milk. And we're gonna turn this down. We don't want burnt beer milk. It smells insane. Now we're gonna start adding our cheese. Let me break these up while I throw them in. So they're not like... All it's not really shredded cheese, but it'll do. If your cheese sauce starts to look a little too thick like that, like like gross mashed potatoes, add milk to it. It'll, uh, it'll thin it out. I know that because I'm, I'm a professional. Just like... Uh, Little ground pepper action in there. Holy sht. All right, looks like we're money, boys. And now that we're done with the cheese sauce, we're gonna chop up some onions for the crispy fried onion situation we're gonna have on the burger. They said you don't fry if you cut the tips off. Fact or fiction? Let me know in the comments. Here's what I'll do, I'll cut off a I'll cut off a there we go. Boom. Free that top layer. You kind of want to cut these uh, as thin as you can. I'm going to say half an onion is good for two burgers. So I'm going to separate these onions because we're going to have to uh, get a little batter, buttermilk, drenching station situation going in a second. So I'm going to get these all separated. Onions are done. We got two cups of buttermilk in this little bowl thing right here, and we're gonna let these soak for whatever chemical reason they need to be in there for an hour. Now that we have the uh, onions chilled out in the buttermilk bath, we're gonna uh, create our batter drench. I guess that's what you call it. So now we're gonna do two cups of flour, pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper, Pinch of cayenne. We're about to get spicy. This this feels good. It's, it feels like buddy. I put up a little thing where people could ask me questions to answer on this thing. So let's see what we got. Will you be using Jameson to cook with? Yeah, we're using a lot of Jameson because Jameson's the best thing to use. <laughs> And everything. Not a question, but there ain't no other rapper like me. Follow me. What's the best dish GT cooks? <laughs> GT's good at uh, GT's good at making pupusas. Your go-to childhood meal, Danny. Dang, dude. Um, probably a hot pocket. Maybe a cheeseburger hot pocket. What what hot pockets did y'all eat? Broccoli and cheddar. Ooh, broccoli and cheddar. <laughs> what the f DJ Mo Beats, prayer hands. Love you. How many aux cords does aux cord actually own? None, I don't have a car. How do you make bread? Maybe we'll and Maybe the next episode will be us making bread. I don't know. Um, have you heard of carrot bacon? I haven't heard of carrot bacon. I'm gonna Google that. And we're gonna find out what that is. And hey aux cord, feel free to check out my rap page and my R&B page. Follow back for fall. Now that we have had these chilling for an hour, we're gonna um, dip them into our batter, get them in the deep fryer. Oh my god. Oh no, let's show. Look at that. 
This is not the color you want. That's a bad crispy onion. That's the boy. That's him. Look at that. So good. It's good. It's good. And now we're gonna start with the patties. These things, these things are the best. I'll let you know what these are on my Instagram story. Can't, 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 can't say what these are here. Secret, top secret information. But all you need to put on this is just a pinch of salt. Some ground pepper, and we'll throw these into the cast iron. Got a brand new one just for this show. We're gonna get this nice and hot, throw these in here. It should be money. So normally, with a cast iron, I wouldn't add oil, but we're not using real beef, so there's not gonna be any fat that's gonna render out of that to create its own like natural oil. So we need something so that these patties don't stick to the, to the pan. All right, so with these patties, you don't really need to, uh, it's not real meat, so just kind of cook it till it gets some color in there and then it's good, you know? You don't really have to worry about different temperatures or anything like that. Yeah. Look at that, dude. It's super dry. Good thing we got two sauces to put on this thing. Okay. So now we have our patties here. We're gonna take some of our onions that we made earlier. Let's get some, some pretty ones and get this all set up nice. Oh yeah, just as good as it was five minutes ago. Cool. And now we're gonna get some of the cheese sauce on there. You know, let's hope this tastes as good as it looks. Okay, cool. That was crazy. And then we're gonna get some of this glaze and I'm gonna put it on the bun. Oh, okay, that looks like jam. Just spread it in. All right, so we got everything assembled and just... Cool. That's good, huh? Not too bad, right? Let's see. Yum. Look at that one, look at this one, dude. There you have it. Uh, Jameson whiskey glazed cheeseburger with crispy onions, no meat. All right, so let's taste it. Oh, it's good. It's good. There's a lot going on. Get some good textures in this burger too. One thing, one thing I love when I eat is a, a good texture. I've never actually never had a burger like this, but the crispy onions, man, whoever made this recipe, I, I did a good job making this recipe. I created this. This burger shouldn't take too long. I mean, if you have everything prepped like I do, it should take you about 30, 45 minutes. Yes, sir. 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 I ate ugh, almost both the burgers. I got three pieces left. Um, if there's, if you want to see me make anything else, maybe leave a comment, like the video, subscribe or follow. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm DJing on Twitch now, apparently. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of things right now, but this is, this is what we're doing right now. Thanks. Cheers.